States. It's got a bigger, more powerful battery. This is a thousand milliamp hour battery. I think the 110 is just a 650 milliamp. I don't have the 110, but I'm, I did read up on it. So I know that this one is a little more improved. The battery on this is modularized. So you can still charge it with your USB into your computer or just plug it into the wall. But see what it looks like on the inside. I'm doing this by myself, so bear with me. Take the plastic off. Okay. Let's take the quad out. I like the fact that the propellers are already installed as well as the landing gear. Check that out underneath. There's your wide angle camera. Very nice. Let's move this back a little bit. Check this out. This is nice. It's really hard to tell from just looking at videos. I know I can vouch for that, but now that I see this up close, it is really a nice quality made quadcopter. Right there's my battery installed. Check this out here. Prop guards. Ooh, it looks like I've got some extra prop guards. That was nice. Yep. There's two additional prop guards. So I guess they think you're going to break two eventually. Hmm. Extra landing gear as well. I have never broken a prop guard or landing gear. So I guess some people are more rough on these quadcopters than I am, but that's still nice of them to include that. Let's check out the transmitter. This transmitter looks kind of familiar to me because I've had this similar one on my HS200, so it might be pretty much the same thing. Let's see if you can see this. I'm going to move some stuff out of the way. Move over there. Yeah, that looks pretty much similar to it. <clears throat> got your button up here on the top left. One short press, you've got photos, press it down a little bit longer, you can record video. Over here, top right, you have your 3D flip button, just hit that one time, and just touch your right side stick here, up, down, left, or right, and that'll be the direction that it flips. If you want to flip again, you have to press that button a second time. Power button, to turn it on. This does take four AA batteries. is normal so just a short press to turn it on longer press to turn it off one of these is your headless button I think that's for your headless and you've got your trims down here is your sync button which I am in the habit of always resyncing it whenever I turn this on especially if I crash it but I always use the sync button there's your one key start and land button so you have to hit that every time you want to start it up. Once you've turned on the remote and you find it by hitting it up and down like you would do pretty much with everything, I just get into the habit of hitting the sync button. Then you have your speed, minus or plus. If there's, what is it, four speeds, the last one's like a turbo speed. It stays flashing when you hit that. What else you got in the box? Here's your phone holder for the remote. And that's going to go right on there. I'm sorry, I can't do this with one hand. And here's your packages with your additional propellers. Oh, you know what's really nice about this that Holystone gives you? In this camera, they give you a 4 gigabyte memory card. Right in there. I don't know too many quad comfort, quad copter I said that manufacturers that give you a memory card you gotta go out and buy one and I prefer not having to do that I like to just stick my batteries in there charge my battery up for the quadcopter and now I'm gone I'm gonna turn this off and open up this bag real quick and we're back okay I apologize before I was describing this camera as having some type of a adjustable gimbal but after looking at the owner's manual I don't know where I 
even got that from. It's called a um, camera gimbal dial function. So until I can find out what that's supposed to mean, I really don't even know what it means because this, this camera is pretty much stationary. It doesn't move. It looks pretty much like the 110 not the 110D. It looks similar to the other one, so they look the same. And you do need to leave the battery in place inside the drone when you charge it. I may have thought before you could take it out and plug it in, but I was wrong about that. So that's pretty much the same as the other one, as well as the um, Holy Stone 200, which is no big deal, but it is a different battery. You just got to leave it in when you're charging it. Like I said, this one's a a thousand milliamp so it should give you a little bit longer flight time they say it's like 10 minute flight time so that's cool card reader four extra propellers screwdriver extra prop screws extra screws for probably the landing gear and anything else you can imagine some motor gears are in here that's cool I have had to use those before. They even give you this nice little book here, a welcome book. It says, we appreciate that you have walked into our lives with the purchase of our your new drone satisfied with your purchase. We aim to provide you with quality products and spectacular flying experience. Here is a way to express your newfound joy. Contact with us on Facebook to like our page and join our group, which I've already done. You will be informed of giveaways and free parts, which is always exciting. So, and that's pretty cool. I haven't seen this before. Comes with a little scratchy pad. And that, there's your owner manual, owner's manual. Um, two additional prop guards, which I mentioned. Two free extra landing gears nice landing legs rather this is nice i just want to go ahead and get this battery charged guys so i can go ahead and get this in the air and then i'm going to come back with a with another video showing you how it flies talk to you soon Turn it up to the highest speed. That's better. And that's 
Good enough. 